everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the Adepticon System Open here in Chicago. My co-host today is... Johnny Randazzo. Hello. And uh, we're super excited to be bringing you this, uh, this stream. So if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. We stream every System Open here in the United States, and uh, soon going to be hitting <laughs> some of the other parts of the, the globe, which will be exciting. But uh, we got an exciting match here. Let's go ahead and break down these lists. All right. So uh, very excited to see the scum list, the triple, uh, triple aggressors, something that people had sort of theorized when the points changes came, point changes came through. And uh, seeing it on a table in a, a big premier tournament is, is really great. Uh, so John is flying those. Uh, IG-88 B, C, and D all with jamming beam and then IG-88 B also bringing along marksmanship. Uh, these ships are super maneuverable. Uh, you see already taking advantage of that boost, have an excellent dial, uh, probably one of the best dials certainly for a, a medium based ship and um, we'll see what this list is capable of. Yep, and uh, we have put our poll up on the screen if you're on Twitch one for John two for Alex so Alex on the right side has Hera Syndulla Dutch Vander and Wedge and Tilly's uh, Hera is absolutely decked out fire control system dorsal turret saw Guerrera Leia veteran turret gunner and uh, not the ghost title sorry about that uh, Dutch Vander which gives locks just handing out locks to buddies with selfless dorsal turret veteran turret gunner again just trying to protect uh, protect that ghost. I mean, that's so much health, so much beef. That's right. You want to keep that on the board. And then Wedge, Wedge just likes to punch hard. Uh, Alex, basically, he brought a jousting list. He came to joust, shoot a couple times out that front, because you can do that with the veteran turret gunner, once with your primary, once with the turret. And uh, Dutch is there to clean up. Yeah, so I think Alex's goal is really to hit hard, uh, to put as many shots out as you can in one round, try to take out one of these aggressors as early as possible, and really hope that John is playing from behind from that point on. Absolutely. So um, looking at this opening approach here, John has them nice and spread out. He has plenty of room, should be able to turn in here and just bring them all to bear. and. I think if I'm John, I don't want to move too fast here. Uh, you want to see if you can maybe see if Alex can hang one of these ships out to dry. But, I mean, Alex is probably going to be thinking about that as well. Uh, so I used to fly a lot of aggressors in 1.0. I haven't flown them that much in 2.0. But from what I remember in 1.0, you do need to be very careful with them. Take advantage of their maneuverability and make sure that you don't put them in a difficult situation. Because with only 8 HP, uh, they can go down pretty quickly. All righty. So we're going to be getting our opening engage here. Looking at the poll so far, they're favoring Alex. It looks like John is deciding to disengage, try to bring that uh, little scooch there. <laughs> yeah, it may be somewhat of a disengage or just trying to get into a flanking position. We'll see if he kind of boosts from here, which he yep. does. Uh, I think he's really just trying to get along on the, to the side of this rebel list. Yep. And with that IG-2000, they do share all of the abilities uh, that each other has, B, C, and D. And just a one, one forward here, real cash, real cash. So from this move, he's expecting Alex to go slow and take a turn before the engage. Though I'm, I'm a little worried for this IG right there because if he does come in fast, he's going to be in for some pain. Yeah, he has tokened up with that IG, but you're right. If those rebel ships get really close, that could be a bad day for that aggressor. All right, so John turning in there is going to drop down some, uh, some calculates. And starting with Dutch. Now, if you're not familiar with Hera, Hera Syndulla, it's a 1-4. It looks like we're going to be slow rolling here. Hera allows you to basically change your dial on the fly, depending on the color. Uh, how's it worded? It's if you... you could, if you dial here. in a blue, you could change to another blue. There if you dial is. in a red, you could change to another red. Um, I believe it's worded, change to another maneuver of the same difficulty. Yep. And so I think this is exactly what John was hoping for. Uh, the uh, Alex's ships are out of range at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
All right. <laughs> lock, share the lock. And part of this, I think, is uh, Alex checking range and also getting into that habit, making sure he's target locking every turn yes. to make sure he takes advantage of Dutch's ability. Uh, District Foundry, let me know what is, what is it that you are hearing, and I can try to address it. <clears throat> All right, here's the here's going to be the engage. I'm, I'm guessing. I mean, what do you think? Probably a three bank boost in. Uh, for next turn, yeah, yeah. right. You want to get those uh, all those aggressors. I I think. I mean, these aggressors either like to hang out at range three or be at range one. They're almost like. Um, what is that ship? The Fang Fighter a little bit in that sense. Range yeah. one, they can hit really hard. Range three, they can stay pretty safe. Mm -hmm. Even without auto thrusters, uh, which we are familiar with from 1.0, they still want to control range as much as possible. Um, cool. All right, looks like he dialed in something with Hera, and I want to say perhaps changed it on the fly. Yeah, may have been a, a switch here. It looks like he, at least he's, he's doing a two bank. He may have had a one bank. Use, use the blue one. Use one of the blue ones. All right, so it looks like that ghost will be able to take some shots on that lead aggressor. So let's talk a little bit about the calculate action. Obviously, that is becoming far more important now with yeah, the separatist with, with the faction separatist, yep. coming out. Um, but we've seen... There's a reinforce. There's the reinforce. We've seen calculate, uh, especially with ships like these IGs and also other ships like Guri, yep. uh, Forlam using calculate. So what are some of the, in your mind, what are some of the strengths and weaknesses of Calculate or ships that can at least take multiple Calculate tokens like these? So when you can get multiple calcul Calculates, if you're getting only single focus action or single focus on dies, you can go ahead and change only one die and not have to waste a, a really powerful token. Sure, a little, spread bit, it out. a little bit more flexible that right. way. Here we go. F range three here. Four dice. He's going Saul. He's taking a shield there to change those into crits. Absolutely worth it, right? Yeah, I mean, one one for three. It's high likelihood uh, that you get in some damage here. There it is. It's going to calculate and uh, take two. Okay, so that definitely hurts. We'll see if he's able to get some damage back on the ghost. Johnny, did you see the order? In which which uh, which bug is which? Sure. Let me. I took a picture earlier. Let me see if I can. Range three retaliation. One two. And reinforce blocks one. Hera will take another shield. On the table, they are in alphabetical order. B on top, then C, then D. Okie dokie. So that means C is the one that took three shields. Great. Or two shields. Excuse me. And that's the end. So like we were saying, I think John is probably going to try to turn in here. What is the priority target? Uh, for John? Yeah. John, I mean, he, with the, the reinforced is really good. It's still really good. Uh, people, people sometimes still kind of, uh, with the change to reinforce, think that it's bad. But here's the thing, though. The, the overall power level of attacks has gone down. While reinforce has also become weaker, it's still very effective. Sure. Uh, you want to burn down the ghost, but in reality, you also have Wedge at, at uh, Initiative Six, who, even though he can't double reposition, being able if he if he goes one on one with one of these aggressors, he's going to win every day. Sure, sure, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, Hera's going to be just jumping into range one here, making sure she gets a shot. Uh, could John go for a block here, really just try to play the disruption game? Well, Hera ha with Hera's ability, I guess she only has one or two forwards she can, uh, she can change from. So maybe dials in. Hmm. 
Looking at the positioning here. I mean, maybe you have to be able to block the one and the two forward, though. But Hera can always bank and then change, change a dorsal turret, only getting one shot. Sure. Ah, yeah, and it's tricky with Hera. I, I've flown a little bit of Hera, and uh, Hera's red maneuvers are really strong as well. Oh, we see, uh, this might be is a this sloop. a sloop or just uh, disengage? Disengage, looks okay. like. Okay, interesting. Trying to get around the backside of, of this yeah, list. Yeah, I mean, these, uh, these aggressors are fast, so they, they, can, they can come up on you quick. Need to. Uh, with Hera, the red maneuvers are really strong, too. Dial in a one turn and perhaps turn that into a 4K. Yeah. Uh, that's really unpredictable. But then, of course, you are left with a stress token and not taking that reinforce action or perhaps a focus action. Uh, so you have to pick the right time to be able to execute that kind of surprise, perhaps, red maneuver. Yep. So one straight, going for the boost in. All right. So kind of getting back in formation, but hopefully... Uh, for John around the back side of Alex's list. And, and this just, one's a little... He's a little bit... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about... That's D. Um, I'm just worried about all this just kind of coming in. You come in, you just annihilate D and turn around. All right. I believe Dutch has the first move here. It looks like a three bank. Looks like we're swooping in. Mark Hare out the way. Looks like congratulations to Alex for making a top four at a hyperspace trials using those top four templates. And so it's going to be. Uh, oh, he's that got it. ghost got is it. pretty cumbersome, huh? Yeah. yeah, but that looks like it might be range three, which means that Dutch probably is not getting double shots. Uh, yeah, I'd say that. Seems correct. And we see Alex is bending over the table, really trying to gauge that distance. He's thinking about... Um, thinking about the target lock. About the target lock. And he's giving it to Hera, yeah. Yeah, and, and that, that makes a lot of sense. I think that IG is a little hung a, out a little bit. Uh, away from his friends, maybe in a bad position. We'll see if Wedge also gets Ark on that lonely IG, but I think Alex probably planned it out that way. Mm -hmm. And now I think Alex is thinking about that dial now. Looking at his options, so this means that he did dial in a blue or a red. All right. So I, I heard she's going to change it. Changing it to a two bank. Two bank. Oh, wow. So that that's going to be a range one the shot. The IG needs some, needs some dice with target lock. Yeah. Ouch. That's coming in. Probably going to be dropping the reinforce still. Yep. Just trying to soak up that damage. Yeah, Wedge going nice and slow. He's just that backup piece. Okay, so Wedge does looks like out of range from that IG at the moment, or from the lonely IG at the moment. Yeah, he probably does a target lock action here just to kind of see where everything is. Yeah, I think that's what we're measuring for. And looks like he might just have range on that uh, on the left side. Mm, it's close. I don't know if they want to mark those ships. Yeah, yeah, I see templates coming out to mark. They want to get this right. And Ooh. this is just be. And we just heard the player say it is out. Okay, barely, huh? So that is good news for John. Yep. All right, and then uh, with R3 Astromech, he's going to go ahead and acquire another lock. On, uh, on the other bug over there. All right, so Wedge, Wedge we're firing first. Here we go, range three obstructed. Plus one, minus one. 
And trick, yeah. And trick shot, trick yeah. Shot. Spending that lock. Seems good when you don't have a focus. Yeah, those modifications can really help. Hit crit. Okay, not too bad for John. Yo, spend the evade, you're fine. All right, so Wedge not able to punch through on Wedge's first shot. Next up is Hera, okay, five, five dice. Five dice. There you go, that's average. We're spending the lock, he's keeping the focus for Saw. Oh, that's devastating. Okay, we need some uh, good green dice for John here. Took the damage there for Saw. Okay. Got two. Spend the calculate. Spend the calculate. Yeah, hit crit. That's just shield still. Not bad. Not bad at all. No, that could have been way worse. And here's the dorsal turret. So the lock has been spent already, only has saw available. It's explaining the uh, veteran turret gunner. Crit, and crit. he might saw again, there it is. So shields are gone on Hera. For hit, crit, crit. All right, spend that calculate. That's still shields. No critical damage yet on that bug. So shields down on IG-88B. Okay, so this was Hera's second shot. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yes. So we still have, still Dutch, have Dutch to fire. Uh, but John is the first player, so he's going to be firing his Initiative 4 ship first. Range one and has no modifiers. No mods. So Spent those calculate. One. And uh, Hera doesn't have anything, any dice, so that's going to be automatic one damage. Goes through the reinforce. Yes. For reinforce, you must do... Uh, oh, one hit always gets through. That's right. And Alex is uh, shuffling up his damage deck. You can see the shadow there, his hand yep. with his cards. Just shuffling up, making sure it's random. Offers to cut. and gets a damage card out on Hera. Two more damage for half points on Hera. That's the downside of Saul, right? You want to be, be able to have those modifications, but you're starting to uh, hurt yourself. And it is looks like it is range two. It just measured it. So that means Dutch is going to have a couple shots as well. Uh, okay. But uh, John has to finish his, his attacks. He's coming from IG-88D on the wedge from downtown. And just one. And safe. And this is the missing. You get to do jamming beam for the second time. It's free. And nothing on that one. Okay. Dutch range two with his primary. Hit crit. Don't Not, need to spend that time. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and, and evaded. At least two evades. Got it. Veteran turret gunner, two dice again. Spending target lock for another hit crit result. And on defense, Got evaded. It. So this, this is where those aggressors yeah. really, you know, really come through. Uh, those three defense dice, usually with a calculate modification, uh, man, they could they could potentially take a lot of fire, but not necessarily. Mm -hmm. So we've seen John play a more defensive game so far. Um, he's been, you know, really trying to get the defensive modifications, taking evade actions. Um, what does John do from here? Does he, you know, try to shift things to where he's more on the offense? Uh, does he continue to try to vie for position? Um, you know, get more of those flanking shots. Uh, where does John go from here? Well, Hera's in kind of a weird spot, right? Like, she wants to turn around, but she's not going to be able to get primary shots for at least a couple turns. 
Uh, Alex might need to bite the bullet here and do the 4K onto the rock so that he can get a primary shot in two turns. Um, okay. If he wants to. Other than that, I mean, he's he's going to have to wait two turns to get a, a primary shot anyway. He could, like, one bank bump or maybe just end up one banking uh, here because John is the first player and getting the... Um, yeah, or, the turret on. or you dial in the one turn, and if you need to turn it into a 4K, you have that option. Very true, very true. So this is B, C, and D. Uh, someone in the chat did point out that jamming beam range 1 to 2, so maybe that jamming beam should not have been Yeah, uh, that was a mistake. Shot. It didn't end, up, didn't end up mattering. Did not matter. So you see Alex here leaning over the table. Classic posture from yeah. someone in a complicated yes. position. Uh, trying to visualize those distances. I always use the stars on the map to try to see <laughs> see the distance in the stars. <laughs> um, put that on a sticker, Johnny. We're I don't put know. On a sticker. <laughs> put, put the distance in the stars. I don't stars. know if anyone else does that. Or that's <laughs> me, but I imagine that's what Alex is doing. Um, John kind of standing straight up. Uh, dial in hand, just uh, looking down at the table. So he's looking at, I think the one that's in the weird position is here, right? Because, I mean, he wants to probably too hard boost. I don't know if you have the space to boost, but it doesn't get you a shot. Sure. Yeah, you're still angled the problem. Wrong. You're still angled incorrectly. We are here in this beautiful convention hall. Uh, just outside of Chicago in a town called Schaumburg, Illinois, at Adepticon, a uh, huge wargaming convention. Mm -hmm. So we see a lot of different games here in the hall, a lot of Star Wars games. Um, we see Legion. Man, I'm impressed with how far Legion has come. I don't know if any of you out there play Legion, but there's a Legion table near us. It looks beautiful. Uh, we also see Destiny being played. Um, someone was telling me about an Imperial Assault tournament or World Championship. Is that right for Imperial Assault? Yeah. Uh, so people playing that game. So we see a lot of games. We're in this enormous space, um, both games and exposition. So, of course, people can walk around and see perhaps some games that they've never played before, never heard of before. Mm -hmm. It's one of the uh, best parts of a convention like this. Yep. We don't get to see it because <laughs> <laughs> We're working. We're working. We're working. But yeah, it's uh, it's absolutely fantastic. So uh, we will be live from Gen Con as well. So make sure you guys, uh, people are seeing people asking about Gen Con. So all, all the big ones will be there. This, this one, this, this is home for us. Yeah, this is home. This, is this home was easy. Us. We could actually I sleep, get to sleep in my own bed. Yeah, 15-minute drive See my for wife. Me. It's beautiful. I got to get my daughter ready for for school to this morning. Excellent. Oh, by the way, J Johnny, do you want to tell them about the stream prize we were able to oh acquire? Oh, my goodness. We have to give away the exclusive Adepticon paint scheme for the Vulture class fighter. Ooh, ooh. Uh, only here at Adepticon, we were able to get a copy of it for ourselves. But you know how Gold Squadron operates. That's right. We are not greedy. We love giveaways. So we will be showing this beautiful paint job and giving it away at some point today. So stay tuned for that. Yep, and we've got the 4K here from that IG. There are some stipulations on this giveaway. We'll talk about them later. This might be a sloop. It is indeed. Okay, so that IG still kind of playing the chess match a mm -hmm. little bit, trying to get into position. He's the one, yeah, he... He lost some damage. He's feeling a little skittish. Yeah, so again, John, maybe, uh, I don't know if I want to call it defensive. He's turning in now. He's, he's maybe trying to shift this to more of an offensive. I think he sees the fact that Alex is in a, in a weird spot where he has to, Alex has to turn around, he's get his ships turned yeah, around. that's he's right. trying to get on that back 45. And here we see Dutch. And we'll get some marking there. One of the things that always impresses me about X-Wing is 
players helping each other out with movement. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, this is a competitive game, but you still see the friendly attitude. Nope. <laughs> Popped off the ship there, the base. Agreed. Uh, this might be a 4K. It is. Uh, looks like Leia was popped this turn, so all red actions, excuse me, red maneuvers become white maneuvers. He's dropping those locks. Yeah, so although Alex was in a weird position, doesn't matter, able to take advantage of that Leia yep. and still get turned around. And he was in range three of Wedge. Wedge is doing a one forward. One forward to victory. Ugh. That's going to come. I could see it. Here's the 4K. Is it on a rock? Ooh. Nope. Not not from that, this angle. That's really close. And got it. Like a glove. Some obstructions. Uh, this is a good rules question. How does Leia work with Hera's ability? Uh, well, they all become white, so they're not red anymore. So you cannot change. So he couldn't have changed. There it is. Yep. So basically, for that turn, her ability would have only been available for uh, white, uh, blue maneuvers. So it looks like we're also target locking that IG uh, right in the middle. Look Ooh, at that. Oh, yeah. Um, kill box? Yep. Would, you, would you call this a kill box? <laughs> Seems pretty boxy to me. Oh, one, might one be a bump. Might okay. be a bump. Uh, I think it fits. Wedge. It He's got it. Fits. He's got it. Uh, you just. You just focus. There's no questions. There it is. That's going to be four dice, range one, into IGB. You know what B stands for? What's that? Bad day. <laughs> <laughs> four dice. Here's that lock. For four and That's going to be four. He's only going to have two dice because of Wedge's ability. And that's going to be three damage. Down to two hole there. All right. If he can survive Hera, he'll at least get to shoot. Oh, that might be C. Sorry, I might have had that messed up. Yep, it was C. Sorry about that. Not B, C. Is he thinking about Saw? Yep. Yep. He's, do he's doing it. <laughs> he wants, to take, he wants to take a ship off the board. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's possible. Two hits and a crit. That's it. He only had three left. Ouch. Rolling five dice, but no modifications. What are you yeah. going to do? I mean, you're only expected, let's see, let's look at my, my handy dandy chart here. No modifications, 1.8 evades. Okay. So, not even two. Not even two. So, Alex is in the driver's seat here. He's got two more IGs to try to get off the board. Uh, John, what he should be looking for, you know, if, when you're in this position in a tournament, it's round one. We know that in the format, you can only get one loss before you, uh, you're eliminated from the cut. You try to take this game, you try to learn from it. Don't go on tilt. Take it. I think what happened is he took too long to engage. I saw what yeah. he was trying to do. Absolutely. But the flexibility that Alex had in his maneuverability made it so that he could jump on uh, John's slow opening, essentially. Yeah, John just has not taken enough shots yet this game. But here we see one, two damage going into Dutch. And that looked to be just out of range and we should be back to dials. Pyro Pushel, I love you too. So we got 44 minutes left in the round. Uh, 
you know, another thing about this event is that MOV really does not matter. It, they're, it's just about the wins. MOV, I guess, only matters if you're, if you're worried about rank. But sure. really what you're trying to do is just make the cut here. Um, Alex, if I'm Alex, you know, you're in the driver's seat. You want to make sure that you're making smart decisions. Hera is one point away from half. Yeah, sure. Um, you try to conserve that. See, what, what can you do to do that? Play smart. Uh, two forward gets you over that uh, that rock. That's probably what you do, right? Um, could you do a two bank and maybe get more, get your arc more towards those aggressors? That's true. Yeah, and the the dorsal turret is still in the front. It seems it is. Uh, so what is so? John could turn this around if he gets half points on Hera and half on another ship. Does that put him over the threshold? It does, but he's got to not lose anything. He's got to not lose anything. He can't lose so. anything. If you could somehow kill Hera, just, just get her, get her off the Outright, board. okay. Just, just outright kill Hera. Okay. Um, I think Alex's best tool here is going to be some blocking. If he can guess... Uh, kind of where where some of these ships are going one of the difficult things is with leia just being popped you got red maneuvers available again um dutch probably doesn't have the 4k maybe he does it's close uh but the problem with blocking is then you're not well if you're blocking depending who you're blocking you're not necessarily taking shots and uh right. john needs to put out damage too And before we go too far, I do want to say thank you so much to our sponsor, Curled Paul Creatives. Use that coupon code ADEPTICON19 for 15% off. No minimums. Uh, get your strain tokens. Get your templates. If you haven't gotten your second edition acrylic templates, get your giant tokens. All these things that you see on our table here, uh, the large-scale tokens, those are available, as well as all other kinds of goodies from Curled Paul Creatives and the Birmingham Barons. Absolutely, some of the best stuff out there. Yeah. Just asking for the damage update. And, you know, I um, one habit that I'm starting to get into for tournament play is to not be afraid to ask your opponent, like, where questions about, you know, how much damage is on this ship. Sure. How many points is your, are your ships worth? I know that with the numbers not being on the cards, some people are getting into the bad habit of not even knowing their points. Like they build it and go, oh, wait, I'm not sure. That's something you should always be asking your opponent. How much yeah. points? And, yes, even if they have to pull out their phone and check it, do it and have somewhere to write it down. Knowing your uh, opponent's notes is not considered note-taking. Okay. It's just game state knowledge even though you're writing it down. So that is absolutely fair game. Uh, so there is some discussion in the chat about uh, your comments about MOV not mattering. So could you maybe talk about the format a little bit for those of who might not be familiar? Yeah. So basically the system open format says everybody who's 5-1 and one or better makes day two. After that, we go into single elimination with the people at the top getting buys in order to make the power of two bracket to make it work. And uh, and we go from there. It's pretty simple. Nobody is eliminated. You can play all the way to the end. You can go 0 and 6 if you want to. Sure. That's fine. Uh, everybody's allowed to play. But uh, if you're trying to get into that cut, trying to get that world's invite, which is for top eight, right? you got to go X and 1 today. One forward here from that IG. Uh, I see a couple people who are thinking that there's a mini cut after three rounds. There are, there is not. That was a uh, that was last year. Yeah, yeah, last year. They got a lot of negative feedback because people still wanted to play. Like, oh, I, I still want to play. Why can I not play? Yeah, anymore? and there, there's the side events, but sometimes, uh, depending on the timing, those can be hard to get into. Yeah. So, um, if you want, if you want to play, you should be able to play, right? Yes. So, you can play all the way to the end if you want to. Okay, so what does we talked about Hera a little bit? What does mm -hmm. Wedge do here? Wedge is, is kind of uh, hard too, baby. Hard too. You, do you think you think that's what Alex maybe yeah. dialed in? Oh, we see a block. So like you said, 
taking so advantage. You try to take away some of those shots. And it wasn't it wasn't an overly complex block. You know, you only went one forward, but just taking up some of that space where Dutch can sh double tap your ships uh, helps, even though he will have some shots into uh, the IG in the back. But he's taking away the target locks, right? He's taking away some of those yeah. modifiers. So it looks like Alex has dialed in. Yeah, he flipped the dial, and now he's kind of rubbing his beard trying to decide <laughs> what he's going to do with that. He goes so for the two bank. He's the two bank you talked about. Uh, DJ Scython, yes, you can write down the points of your ships. That is board state knowledge, not note-taking. The generic note-taking uh, rule in the rule book is in reference to, like, schematics for openings and all, all this, these other, other things that might be considered outside information. Anything that's specifically related to the game, you can do. You even saw it on, the, on a world stream where Justin Fool was marking off whether what ships had, like, fire torpedoes and things like that. I mean, I just wish that was more clear. Yeah. I, I like that that's the rule, yep. but I feel like players don't, know the specifics and it makes them really um, afraid to do anything in because they're worried about violating that rule. Correct. So I think Wedge has a barrel roll open here. Yeah, I, I think it's, a, it's that's the best move. Again, you see Alex leaning over the table, visualizing those distances, trying to see exactly where he's going to fit in. Check this side, check that side. I think the debate he's going through here is maybe looking for his templates. He's going to be getting closer to the other IG. It looks like he's rolling away. Rolling away, okay. Um, setting up for next turn, right? Yeah, but he might be opening himself up to two shots. From these IGs, if that's range three yeah, for the backside. Yeah, but the side. IGs don't want to go for Wedge right now, right? They want to go for Hera. So I think he's not too worried about Wedge. All right, it looks like he went far back enough where he won't have a shot anyway. Hera, so range two. So this will be a double tapping shot. Primary gets one hit, uh, two hits. Spend the target lock for a reroll. And stays He's at two. Probably not going to saw here. Uh, you would be wrong. I would, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Aggression. Grr. So he, he just gave 47 points. Uh, he's got calculates. He's got to spend them both, right? Yep. So one crit does get through. And he still has shields, so uh, it's just so a single this was, shield. This was the undamaged one, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's not a bad trade for John. Heck, hey, one shield for half not points on your ship, I'll take it. Not at all. Hey, worked the first time. <laughs> Let's do it again. Do it again. <laughs> he's, he's going aggressive. <laughs> Man. Two evades, no damage here. Two you should have saw Alex's face. Eh, what ifs? He had the what ifs face. gets results. <laughs> Okay, he's not going to just sit back. All right, here's the attack into Hera. Two hits. Taking two more damage. Hera's down the four. And second aggressor at range three. Yep. Uh, this one does have calculates. Hera will get an evade die here. He's hoping for some crits here. Hey, hey okay. that could be bad. Oh, he's going to use Selfless. Selfless, there it is. That's still a face-up card. Selfless is for... Ooh, the glare. Oh, that glare. Console fire. Console fire. i got to reposition those lights. Uh, Harris still does take one of those hits.
So. Uh, is this primary shot from Dutch? Yeah, so Dutch needs to do his council fire. So two evades on that shot. Here we see the second shot via veteran turret gunner He's gets gonna through. Take two. Council fire. Nothing. All right. Try to keep things above board here. That's right. At the Gold Squadron podcast. And takes two hits on. Oh, what did I do here? I got this all wrong. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, all righty. So, I mean, Alex pretty aggressively has this in the bag, right? Like, it's it's going to be tough. There's, there's no engage path for both aggressors at the same time, which is really what he would have consistently needed to try to climb back into this game. Sure. Um, I see maybe a sloop from that middle aggressor uh, to try to just get guns back on. Do you think it fits? Like, which way do you think? Um, I was thinking this way, but maybe it doesn't fit. I guess uh, it depends on where that corner hits, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Otherwise... I don't know, just do a turn, get out of there. <laughs> get out, run for your life. Alex is in a good spot. <clears throat> I wanna remind you guys that we will be here all day Six rounds of X-Wing, tons of giveaways, including some Gold Squadron paint cast. Oh my gosh, ships. there's some cool stuff out here on the table. I'm yeah. so excited to show you later. <laughs> it's really cool. And we're also, we also got our hands on one of the exclusive convention specials. Um, the alt vulture droid you see people selling online for $100, $150. Listen here, we got one, bought it at retail, and we're gonna hand it, give it away for free with the caveat that whoever wins it must send me an email picture with them opening and playing with it, not selling it. If you sell it, you'll be cursed. No, this is, this is, uh, this is for play only. This is for play only. Yep. Yep, yep, and that will be given away to the Twitch, and that's what we're working towards right now, unlocking some of those big giveaways. All right, so it looks like we're slooping. I think that's the, the hard sloop. Oh, I forgot about the those. The hard sloop. There those it is. Those will fit. There it is. IG-88D. I've never seen his ability used. There's a first time it's for everything. It's a new era. <laughs> new era of IG-88D. Second aggressor. We're gonna mark Dutch. Yep. And uh, is that a two turn? No. No, oh, this is the, the Sloopy Doop as well. Couldn't tell with well, that. You know blue. what? I, I said that he needed turns where both guns are on target. He, he gave himself the is. best chance. I totally forgot about this maneuver. John using his tools. So, as you said, we'll be here all day streaming. What is your standard advice for a player who is playing X-Wing for, what do we start, about 10.30? Yeah. Seven, eight, nine hours? How do you keep your endurance up over that time? You got to drink tons of water. 
Okay, yes, it's expensive at a convention. You either need to pony up the money for the water or bring your bring own. Bring it with you. Yeah, or bring a water bottle. There are, there are water fountains. They actually have a, a cooler out for, for players, but, of course, you have to get to it and actually uh, mm -hmm. partake. Give, make sure you keep yourself hydrated, keep yourself snacked up so that you can uh, have the – because you don't – People don't always understand that, yes, stand, you're just standing at a table, but the mental resources that you burn thinking Absolutely. through this game is is ridiculous. You, Absolutely. You can make yourself really tired just by thinking because you're actively thinking yeah. about so many different pieces moving on the board, different po probabilities, all kinds of stuff. And I don't know about you, but um, when I get nervous... And mm -hmm. even if it's not just uh, even if it's not like an anxious nervous, but uh, even an excited nervous, that that exhausts me very quickly. Yeah. Um, just standing there, your heart rate's a little elevated for me personally. Maybe other people don't care uh, about big events as like this, but for me personally, my heart rate's elevated. Um, I'm ready to go. You know, fight or flight is engaged, and that just drains you. Yeah. So uh, and having that all going all day, by the end of it, you're you dead on your feet. Mm-hmm. And then that's not even to, then you stack that on top of the physical side where your body is using resources if you're standing, which most of the time if you're playing this game, you're yeah, standing because you need to be able to see the board. Last year I saw uh, somebody brought one of those like chef's mats, anti-fatigue yes, standing mats. I did see that. And I was like, oh, look at this dork with hey. this mat. But by the end of the day, everyone else is sitting down slumped over, yep. and he's still standing. And, yep. it, and it, made, it gave me such an appreciation for, uh, you know, taking the steps to take care of yourself yep. in that situation. So hats off to, to that guy. I haven't seen him here today, mm -hmm. but um, taking care of your body. Yep. Got to do it. Especially when you're old, uh, old men like us, That's right? right? We're not college <laughs> kids anymore. <laughs> All right, so there's a stress from the K-turn. Oh. It hit crit. There you go. Effective. And two evades. Two evades. All Takes right. a crit. Still has one shield up on that IG. Hera, range two, obstructed. If how I much? <laughs> how much saw damage will be incurred all of this it. turn? All of it. Has lock. He's keeping. Oh my goodness! He's willing to saw. This man is a monster. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. There it is. That saw. And saw. Down to two hole, but he's he's dealing three hits and a crit. Hashtag worth it. Uh, he's taking two hits and a crit. And is that going to do is, it? That's it, yep. Hera, initiative I, kills that one. I wish I caught who said it, but somebody in the chat said, saw your ship in half. Yeah. <laughs> I just got to deal with the other one. Alex is just asking to see that crit, maybe, or, or get get all the damage just out Just get all there. the damage yeah. out, yeah. All right, down to one droid, one IG-88 Yeah, left. maybe IG tried to save it here, and uh, yeah, it's shooting range one, it looked to be, or was it range two? I think, I think range one. Yep, four dice. Needs two. Got him. Got it. Okay. Hit crit, hair is gone. No reinforce. Oh, wait, there's a crit there. He can, uh... Oh, he could spread he it. He can spread it with a selfless. Yeah, he, he's thinking about it. Keep Hera alive or keep Dutch more healthy. Yeah. That's the decision. Take the crit and on the Y-Wing. He's passing it around. Spreading it around. Selfless. Still good. Fuel leak? Is that a thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me check something. Uh, 
Just checking the words. Checking the wording on wording selfless, on selfless here. In the attack arc. Yeah, he's in the attack arc. Yeah, it's fine. We good. Uh, you have to be in the enemy ships. Uh, did he roll for console fire? I don't know. Did you roll for console fire? Yeah. Okay. okay, cool. He did take a hit there. Okay, so he's down to two hole there. Hera down to one. Yep. So 134 for Alex, 72. This his list is so interesting, right? Like it punches super hard, but it's killing itself at the same time. Yeah. Oh, it's great. So <laughs> it's like on this razor's edge where he can I, just topple over at any moment. I love I love lists like this. Just get in there. Um, it just straight offense. And uh, Leia is up this turn, which I totally expect some K turns here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Get Dutch turned around. Get Hera. Hera's probably, I mean, is he willing to risk going through the, uh, through the debris? Uh, yeah. If he's worth, if he's going to risk sawing every single attack, yeah, why he's not? going to risk going through that debris. 100%. <laughs> Johnny's like, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> no, duh. Do you know, Alex? <laughs> have you, have you met this man? Alex has no fear in his life. Uh, so we do not currently have the breakdown of factions. I think maybe uh, we'll walk around in a moment and try to see see what list people are bringing. Yeah. Um, I guess I could kind of take a peek behind us. There's a table behind us. I mean, there's only 264 lists to look at. Sure thing. <laughs> I see a lot of rebels. Yep. I do see a fa some phantoms down the way. Yeah, and yes, and we did cap out the, uh, that was the full capacity space that we had, 264. And uh, there was, including some people were, were able to get on from the wait lists. A couple people didn't make it, and some people showed up and uh, were lucky enough to, to get a spot. As we did see some people in the chat say, hey, I bought a ticket and wasn't, wasn't able to make it, including uh, our very own District Foundry. Right. I see some Ewings. E-wings are a thing now. K-wings. A lot of good stuff. Oh, yeah. Defenders, Thai defenders. Yeah, I, wanna do, I do want to remind you guys that the Separatists and the Grand Republic are not legal for this event, but they are legal for tomorrow's hyperspace qualifier event. Can't wait to uh, get some top level tournaments with those new ships. Mm -hmm. All righty here. Uh, looks to be a one hard. Yep, keep it. Okay. Just trying to stay on Hera. Yeah, just trying tracking. to make sure you have a make sure you have a shot. Keeping the stress. One bank from Dutch. His job is just to give people locks at this point and fall off the base. Sure. <laughs> All right, so if you're John, what lessons do you take into your next round? I mean, we talked about that opening. He, he, I see what he was trying to do with trying to set up one on the flank. But the, the problem is that it just took way too long. And the flexibility that Alex has in his list with Hera to be able to right. shoot forward when need be. John lost shields before he even had all his ships engaged. Right. You know? So, so I, maybe he needs to be a little more squirrely? He needs to be more aggressive. Oh, more aggressive. Yeah. But you don't want to joust Alex's no, no, list no. either. No, you don't want to joust. So you, just, you need to... The pro one of the problems that John had is the fact that he became first player. So Alex okay. got to choose to set up across from him. Okay, right. And that puts Alex uh, or puts John already in a... Yep. At a Flipping council fire there on Dutch. 
Thank you. Uh, Hera flips the dial, and Alex is thinking about changing it. I'm sorry, say that again? Uh, thinking about changing Hera's maneuver. Yes. Looks to be a red move. Okay, so he's got the 4K, one turn, three He's going to roll for the debris. Does it even matter? If he rolls a crit, she's dead. All right, all good. Like you said, he, didn't, he don't care about no debris. No, of course and not. And changing that to the 4K, it looks to be. Uh, that's, a, that's a two? That's a... No. What is that? 4K? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so here's three hits into the aggressor. Ouch. And re-roll for four. One evade. <coughs> and it's going to be taking three damage there. Range two from Hera. Ooh. <laughs> Saw is not up this time. <laughs> I mean, it would it, it would end the game. Is there uh Well. So they're trying to figure out what happens if he saws now. Does, yeah, he, uh, does he get the second shot? Does he get the second shot? <laughs> you don't. You don't <laughs> saw here, right? I mean, it was. <laughs> Sorry for the silence. We're listening. Yeah, in we're, here. we're listening in. Okay, they're calling uh, to a higher authority. Going one other step above. Yeah, we got it. We, we were listening. So we're calling calling over a judge asking about this. We're gonna listen in for a second, see what result we get. <laughs> I'm just curious. Like this is legitimately uh We're just listening right now. I think I think he's gonna do it. If he can shoot again, he's gonna saw. And then can he saw to take additional hits? <laughs> oh man. I I think I it, I think I, mean, I think this comes down to the ability cue, right? 
Let's, um, let's. I think you can't do it. I, I, because my my gut tells me that once you've dealt that last damage, you are removed from the board. Yeah. But that's my thought. Let's. Let's see. So again, for people who are wondering, actually, we got the. Put it up on the phone. Chat thinks he can do it. Yeah. Chat thinks you're around until your initiative step yeah, is done. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Ha, he's going to saw. He's going to saw. Holy cow. Savage. Saw's bringing this whole ship down. <laughs> <laughs> Thematic. Button two, I saw that coming. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> hey. All right. So Hera does go down. Hera goes down, but. But, but so does IGD. I mean, we don't know yet, right? Uh, yeah, he, he rolled the oh. dice. Yeah. Oh. Was it worth it? Yeah, I mean, you won the game. So why not? <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Well, thank you so much to Alex and John for playing. Absolutely fantastic. And let's go ahead and get to here. Hello, everybody. How's it going? We're in our giveaway section. If you, haven't, if you haven't ever been with us in our giveaway section, we basically escalate this. Like, we're going to keep it simple this turn. And as we get round to round, we pump it up. Now, before we get to any giveaways, I want to say a huge thank you to our giveaway sponsor, District Foundry. Use that coupon code. Oh, other direction. Uh, Adepticon19. Yes, it's the same as the curled paw code, okay? They've combined forces. Like, hey, you want to have the same coupon code so people don't get confused? They're like, yeah, let's do that. Adepticon19 for 15% off of a 15 uh, fifteen dollar order or more. I just want to show off some of the things that we're going to give away later. Got to tease them a little bit. Absolutely. Okay. Keep people uh, keep people interested. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not us. No. It's, <laughs> it's not us. It's the giveaways. <laughs> All right. Let, let's make sure. Where's that? There we go. Boom. Um, so here's what I was talking about. Like, I'm telling you. Like I have it in my hand. Okay. Look at that. So there it is. Okay. It's legit. We're giving one of these away later. That's what this goal is for down there. Did you, see, did you show the exclusive? Oh, yeah, yeah. Content exclusive? There you go. Can't can't Con get this anywhere else. Adepticon only, baby. Or, and you, or you can pay 150 bucks for or it you can on pay, eBay. Correct. 150 bucks on eBay. Have fun with that one. Don't, don't, do, don't do that. Don't do Just win no. it. Just subscribe to us and win. Easy. Easy, baby. Uh, we're also going to be giving away one of these later today. This is from our Gold Squadron paint cast painted by Luke Carrington with the Slam engine, detachable slam engine, absolutely hilarious. A fantastic modification. I love it. Holy cow. Love it, love it, love it. Again, that's later today. We got some other things here, depending on how things go. I don't want to spoil anything. One thing that is hanging out with us, I don't think we're going to give this one away today, though, is uh, the Skippy the Force Ghost Trend Ocean Slaver. Awesome. That's hanging out with us today. Uh, today at our Gold Squadron pizza party, Gold Squadron patron pizza party we're going to be giving away this awesome upsilon shuttle love it painted by luke carrington absolutely beautiful when he has a big surface like that yeah. he does amazing stuff yeah yeah and that's not to mention also what we got from district foundry so let me go ahead and take this little tag off it has my name on it uh we got this awesome tray made by district foundry this is a, a full tournament tray you put everything you need in here okay so you got your oh, those are stickers uh you got trays here for your ships yep. you can fit up to eight ships in there yes it does have slots in there for large and medium bases you got space for your templates you got space for the rest of your templates and then your cards and all that stuff and look at that ken ken even 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 gave you a little little post there personalized there you thank go you know. congrats and thanks for supporting gold squadron podcast awesome. and we're going to be giving that away later you can get your own uh with whatever custom you d design you desire 
on the top there. But if you want to get the Gold Squadron podcast one, you got to win it. All righty. So our first giveaway today, we're going to do some cards. We're going to do some cards. Now, if you're a patron, <laughs> if you're a patron, you got your hands on one of these. All right. The Frosted Poe. It looks so good. It looks so good. If you're not a patron, you're sad because you don't have a Frosted Poe unless you win this giveaway we're doing right now. All right. Here we go. Let's pull up the giveaway machine, which it didn't have open. Such a fail on my part. Sorry, folks. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -boom. The giveaway machine. The giveaway machine. Please log in for giveaway machine. Authorize. Loading. 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 Frosted Poe for breakfast. Yeah. Get a, your balanced meal with Frosted Poe. All right, there you go. It's loading up. It's loading up. And while that's loading up, let's pull out a couple of other things we're going to give away here. So we got the Frosted Poe. Let's go ahead and do a, let's do a Nora. Let's do a Fan. Let's do a Loric. Seems good. Round one, right? We don't want to go too crazy. No, no, no. We don't want to go too crazy. Build up to it. Yeah, that's right. People aren't even... Uh, Not even awake yet. It's just round one. <laughs> All right, so noon. we got four, four things to give away. Oh, upside down. Four things to give away. We'll go ahead and start with... We'll start with Loric. All right? Start with Loric. And... Oh, I forgot the thing I was going to do. I can't do it now. Pulling up my sheet here. So in order to get your giveaways, you must send me an email to goldsquadronpodcast at gmail.com with your address fully formatted. About 10 people right. are not going to get their giveaways from the last event okay. because they didn't send me their address fully formatted. I said that. I told them. I said, I told you. You got to send. I don't send it to me in a line. I need to be able to copy it and paste it into Microsoft Word, where I'm doing the envelopes, and boom. All right? Help me out. You might think, like, oh, it's not a big deal. You could press, like, enter and, and, and do that. But when I'm doing, like, 120 yeah. of these, like, it, every you second You don't want to mess counts. that up. Yeah. Or just don't send your address, I guess, if you don't want it or something. But don't do that. That's sad. All right. Opening up my new, my new doc. Here we go. We got Loric, we got Nora, we got Finn, and we got Poe. Let's do it. All right, John, you want to read the name? Uh, yeah. Here we go. Sure do. Three, two, one. Roll it. DJ Sathin. DJ Sathin. Congratulations. Loric for you. Are you are the proud owner of a Loric alt art. I am. All right. Nora. Let's do Nora. Three, two, one, go. Lava field toasty. Lava field toasty. Nice oh. and warm. Next one. <laughs> the guy needs a judge. Fen. Fen Rao. That's right. Three, two, one. Hero of Mandalore. Rumble Rock TB. Rumble Rocket TB3. Congratulations. And last but not least. Frosted Poe. Frosted Poe. Frosted Poe. Here we go. And I do want to remind you guys that only all you have to do to actually enter the raffle giveaway, excuse me, not a raffle, the giveaway, is to be in the chat, though you do have... 10, what is it, 10 times more luck if you're a subscriber. So uh, that's how that works. Here we go. Are you ready? I, I'm not sure. You're about to make somebody a very happy boy or girl. Let's see what we got. Boom. Congratulations to W1S0. W1S0. Fantastic. So again, as a reminder, send me an email to goldsquadronpodcast at gmail.com with your address fully formatted what did you win what was your screen name and feel free to say hi if you'd like easy as that that's that's it 
Again, fully formatted, especially if you live in like some country where the address is like, I said something to Lithuania uh -huh. a while back. And they have like, you put the zip code first, and then you put the street name, and then the number of the street. It was really weird. Right. It was super strange. Bizarro world over there. Yeah. So that's what we got today. Thank you so much. We're going to be back here for round two. If we look back at the table, what's our time on the table? Four minutes, 20 seconds. I would, whoops, I would expect us to probably... 20, be back up in about 20-ish, 15. Let's call it 15. 15 minutes. If we're going to be idealists. Stay tuned.